I'm going to talk about different ways to cock a crossbow. Um, number one thing, don't do it with your hands. That's all there is to it. There's way too much stored energy in any crossbow to try to do it with your hands. All you're going to do is hurt yourself or somebody else. So use the provided cocking device or a good, well-made cocking device. So I've got two examples here. One is this Barnett Hyper Ghost, and I'll show you how to use the uh, string cocking device that's provided with the bow. First thing you do is use their step through riser stabilize the bow like i said there's a lot of stored energy in here so it takes a little bit of a pull to get this thing drawn make sure you've got it stable make sure you got it on a flat hard surface you're not going to step it down into the mud or something like that take this little caulking device you see it's got like a little uh track right make sure the string's straight track's got hooks on the bottom side of it those go on the string then you draw the string back up through and hook it through this cocking device groove that's just right behind the uh, scope on the on the bow grab both handles make sure that it's seated on the string and that the uh, rope is even in the pulleys and then you know use your shoulders and your arm draw it back until it clicks make sure it clicks all the way you hear that click the safety automatically engages so the string's good take that out of there and you're good to go this bow has a double safety the safety's on right now and without a bolt in it's a dry fire safety so that's pretty safe i'm comfortable hunting with that you know if i'm in a blind with somebody else i won't put a round in the chamber or a bolt on the bow until i'm ready to roll so this is how we sit in a blind ready to hunt. Another cocking device. This is a um, 10 point crossbow. This is a shadow. This is kind of a, an addition to the bow. They call it accu draw. So this is great if, say, it's a younger shooter or somebody that's had a back issue or is a little bit older and doesn't want to pull that string uh, cocking device. This is unique. Built into the bow is this lever, right? Take that lever out. Click this switch to where it says engage, and uh, or click it to disengage, and then release this string. Pull the cocking device off of there. Bring this around, and that little track stays with the bow all the time. So same thing as I just showed you with the string cocking device. It's got these little hooks under it. Make sure that it's slid on either side of the track that the bolt flies on, and that those hooks are engaged. Make sure the string's tight, not wrapped around anything else. Click the switch to engage and put this little reel in there and you'll hear it just start clicking it up. And this is nothing. I'm doing this with two fingers. It takes no effort to get that thing up. So if you've got an issue with your back, you know, you can't pull that string cocking device. This one's the way to go. Same thing, make sure you get it all the way back and you'll hear the click, an audible click when it gets all the way back. The safety will engage. So you can then disengage slowly back that down to where the uh, cocking rail is loose bring it back up over the scope tuck it in here you can restow this into the stock and you're ready to roll same thing here when the safety is engaged i'm comfortable sitting with that in a blind like that when something's coming in or when i know it's kind of the witching hour I'll lay a bolt in there and be ready to go. But right there, that's safe and secure. So that's two different ways to do it. String cocking device and more of a, uh, an assisted cocking device. There are different, different types for each one of those, but those are two of the main categories for getting your crossbow safely cocked. Again, don't do it with your hands.